Hey guys, and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Tonight, we are headed to our New Year's Eve party at church, and we are making copycat P.F. Chang lettuce wraps. I made them the other night, and they were delicious. They tasted just like P.F. Chang's. So we're making them to take to our Christmas, our, not Christmas, our New Year's Eve party at church. I've got help in the kitchen tonight, and so you're going to join us. Lettuce wraps. Okay guys, since we're cooking for a crowd, we're doing this, we're multiplying the recipe times three. So in the description below, I'm going to give you the exact recipe for a one pound package of ground chicken. And that's enough to feed a family of four. So, um, I will give you in the description below the recipe for one pound, but we're doing everything times three. So just so you don't get confused, be sure to look at the description. Bryant is chopping up and sauteing some onions. Um, it The recipe calls for half a cup, but since we're multiplying it, we're just chopped up one great big onion, and we're going to let that be for all three pounds. So that's what he's working on. I'm going to come over behind him and put the chicken in. Okay, guys, if you're not used to working with ground chicken, it does not brown up quite like ground beef does. It's more of a white color once it gets cooked. So um, that's what he's working on now. He's got that in with the onions. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I love it when he cooks. It's sexy when he cooks. In his overalls. You know, he's he's my little cinnamon bun. I told y'all that story. If you don't know that story, you go check out my cinnamon roll video, which it hasn't uploaded yet. Not sure when it'll be uploaded, but tell him what? Well, I'm in my overalls. He's in his overalls because he has worked all day. We have cleared land that he is turning into pasture land. He's sown the grass. He's had it cleared. He's... Um, They've went around and they've driven all the T posts in, and he set his corner post today. And the line post. And his line post. What's the line post? The wooden post in the center and the line. The wooden post in the line, whatever yeah, that is. Post, yeah. So, he has done that today. Um, he's worked very hard. Him and Trevor. Isaac's been gone to Ohio. Isaac's home, or he's back in Asheboro. He hasn't actually made it home to the house yet. He's been at Cincinnati, Ohio to a youth um, conference. Follow. The name of the conference was Follow 2019. International Wesleyan Youth. <laughs> Why don't you tell them? It's the International Wesleyan Youth. They have it every four years. So um, that's where Isaac's been. I can't wait to hear about how it went. So we're going to let Bryant keep doing that and we'll bring you back just as soon as we do the next step. At this step, we're going to put garlic in. It's one tablespoon per pound, so we're multiplying times three. So we're putting in three tablespoons. One, two, uh, three. three. <laughs> one, two, three. Going in with rice vinegar. The recipe calls for one tablespoon, multiplying times three. Uno, dos, cuatro. Next is our hoisin sauce. It calls for a fourth of a cup, so we're putting in three fourths of a cup. You can find that in your local Japanese section. Asian 
section. Your aging you section. And that is some thick stuff. Do you need something to scrape it with? Yeah, I need a scrape. A spatula, please. I've got help all the way around. Isaac just walked in the door. Oh, that's not the lid. Time to put a mountain new lid. Okay, so what's going in now is oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Do you know how long it took them to squeeze those oysters to get that sauce? Yuck. Calls for two tablespoons for one pound. Multiply times three. We're going in with six. Um... I don't know if that's the one I ordered, got extra of. What's this? Oh, I've got extra hoisin. I need to get extra. Two. Three. Now, you go. Four. It's a slow process. Will you get me the uh, teaspoon or the half a teaspoon? He's going, he just went in with soy sauce as well. You missed it. He put four tablespoons of soy sauce and we'll taste it, see where we are. Now, I'm just going to put a few dashes of ginger. The recipe called for ginger paste and I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to put a few dashes of ginger. Here's this if you want to stir with that. Okay, so here's where we're going to monkey with the recipe just a little bit. You do what you want to do. The recipe calls for a teaspoon per pound of chili paste. This is the paste. We thought the full <laughs> teaspoon was a little bit hot. So we're going to go with half a teaspoon per pound, which means we'll be adding a teaspoon and a half. Oh. That's a tablespoon. <laughs> Give me a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon. How many of them do we I about have? had an accident. So I need three of them? <laughs> three of those. Uh, yes, yeah, so three of those. One, two, three. We'll taste it once we cook it all up and um, see how we like it. So. But there you have it. Pretty. That's pretty much it. We're going to let it cook for a little bit. We may add a little bit of stuff here and there. And then I'm going to sprinkle green onions on the top. Put it in a lettuce wrap. and Or a piece of leaf of lettuce. Mmm, so good. Tastes just like P.F. Chang's. So we're going to taste it and see where we're at. He's going to add some more. Did you taste it? Added more soy. One tablespoon. Just one more tablespoon. I don't know. What did you do to begin with? I did four. He did four, so we now have five. Right. Any of the other sauces need? Nope. Okay, now here's where the water chestnuts come in. We're going to add some water chestnuts in there and cook them just a little bit so they get soft. Oh, good. Okay, guys, there it is. Now we'll be tasting this at the church. I'm just going to top it off with some green onions and we're going to get it off the heat. Maybe add a little bit of liquid to it. I'm not sure. There you go. And we'll serve it on leaves of lettuce. It is delicious. Some kind of good. We'll be tasting it at the church. All right, y'all. We're out here at the church. The lettuce wraps are almost all gone. And we're going to ask somebody what they thought of them. This is Heather. Heather, what did you think of the lettuce wraps? They were absolutely delicious. Delicious. 
delicious. And we have someone here eating them. Got a thumbs up from Chastity. Yay!